Hello all, welcome to Center Pivot. In this tutorial, I am going to explain about how to bake normal and alpha in Maya and how to bake normal and ambient occlusion in Blender. First of all, we are going to Maya, then I'm, I will explain in Blender. In Maya, we, in the scene, you see there is two objects. That one is target, another one is screw. Okay. The target is a plane and the screw, source is a screw. In the source details, we need to project into the target plane because target plane doesn't have any mesh details only the plane is there so we need to project the source details into the plane so for that we need to first identify the face normal is proper or not in this case everything is proper if in your model this it is not proper means if your model is having like this means then you need to reverse the normals second step we need to check the OBJ is having materials or not. In my case, in the Maya scene, both the objects are having Lambert material, so there is no problem. Just jump onto the transferring process for the maps. So I'm just going to rendering tab. In rendering tab, lightning and shading menu. Go to transfer maps. Here you have the target mesh, all the things. So first of all, select the target mesh. The target mesh is a plane. So I'm select the target mesh and then select add selector. Then source, select the screw and then add selected. For the output maps, you need to select which one is required for you. I am just selecting normal and alpha. And then select the location also. Normal in PNG format. And then this one. Alpha Alpha also in PNG format. Okay, we are selecting both the things and go to Maya common output. Here it is showing the Maya output size. You can enlarge to 4K also. So I'm just for in the tutorial case, I'm just putting 512. You can change all the things based on your model. And then important step you need to check in the target mesh. There is a search envelope of percentage 51.9. If in case your model is close means you can just reduce or in case if the model is too large means you need to increase. In my case the plane is in bottom and the screw is in top that's why I put 51 or any random number. Okay. Then click on bake. Here it is showing the baking process. It takes some time if you are in, uh, exporting in high resolution. Okay, now it is exported. Just go to that area. See here, the normal is baked, and then I just baked that one outside. Control X. Normal is proper, and then AO alpha is also proper. This is a process of how to bake in Maya. Next, we go to Blender. In Blender, Blender also we have the two objects. One is a source object, another one is a target object. This one is a source and this one is a target object. Source having the details and the target doesn't have any details. For the first step we need to do before bake, we need to check the face orientation or the face normals. Face normals in Maya and face orientation in Blender. Face orientation means the normal is in the proper direction or not. So for that we need to check in face orientation. If everything is in blue color means then it is fine. Outside of the source or object, source object or target object is in red color means we need to fix that one in reverse. Okay, so for in that model, it is everything is proper. So I'm directly we can bake. Second step, one needed what need to do? We need to check the OPJ is having material or not. In in this blender case, there is no material. So I need to add the material for the target mesh. Just click add material. And then go to shading tab you can use the tone also i am just using the dragging option shade editor and then go to the material okay then press shift plus a we need to create the image image texture here just click this new button and then type normal first of all we are baking normal then we are baking ambient occlusion for normal in 1k that is enough for me for the tutorial case and first of all select the source mesh and select the target mesh 
and then go to rendering tab here it is ev in ev you will not able to find bake option so go to cycles and then go to bake option it is there in bake type you need to select the rough uh, normal and then go to selection to active in the baking option and then here there is a extrusion is there i mentioned in my uh, the model is above so we need to extend little bit of like 50 that kind of things here also i'm just putting 50 meter so um, it is why i'm putting that one is the model is the target mesh is in bottom and the source is top that's why i just uh, increased little bit then click bake again here the texture bake option is showing after completing 100 percent you will get that image go to uv editor and then select the normal here it is the normal is coming out we can able to save save as in the location normal next we need to bake the ambient occlusion so i'm just selecting again 50a image image texture one more image i'm putting and then just rename to AO AO then go to change the type to ambient occlusion and then hit bake again if you are exporting in higher resolution means then it will take some time if it is lower means then it will be come quickly that is a AO you can save that AO also save as AO this is all about baking process if you are not able to understand then please watch the video again even though if you are watching again they are not able to understand then please put a comment and then I will create a video again with the proper knowledge proper explanation thanks for watching